Welcome back, it's January the 15th and I'm just going to give you a little update on the beds here at the garden home. So it was interesting actually, a learning curve uh, in terms of what survived when we had that really cold arctic spell down to minus 10 I think it was. So in this first bed, that rocket is actually fine. That survived no problem at all. The Amsai mustard, it took a bit of a clobbering. But there's still one or two harvestable leaves on it so again thinking about the future i would definitely grow that again for a winter crop moving over to this bed here uh, the carrots that's rotten you feel oh no yeah you see that it's all squishy so I don't think they've really survived very well. Yeah, they yeah, they're gone. Uh, the miner's lettuce, I think, corn salad. That's actually okay. So again, that will be a good one for more, you know, severe weather. And then this, I had three rows of mustard here. That's all gone. You can see the remnants of it there. Um, so again, okay as long as we don't get down to sort of very, you know, below sort of freezing or min minus one maybe. Uh, the kale, of course, that's stood the test of time. That's absolutely fine. As is the uh, spinach, and of course the uh, chard has done well. So definitely. And here we've got uh, spring onions. Well, to be doing okay actually, that's White Lisbon. Looking over onto this bed, um, this is where I planted the uh, shallots. And I was getting a little bit anxious about them, but I've looked again today, and I can see, you might not be able to make out with this camera, but you can definitely see green shoots coming on pretty much every one now, which I have to say is a bit of a relief. On this bed here, uh, the savoys did take a bit of a hammering. You can see it's kind of gone a bit yucky inside. I've cut one there. That was actually I had to peel a few leaves off, but it was it was usable. So I'm guessing I just have to do the same with some of these. That was uh, Virtus Three Savoy cabbage. That one. In this cold frame everything's actually fine, I just need to start picking some of the lower leaves off these lettuces and the bunches of spring onions, they're doing okay. Similar story in this frame, that's the Hill 2 lettuce, again they're, they've, they haven't suffered at all. Not as much growth as in the greenhouse, granted, but uh, again once I just remove some of the lower leaves just start stimulating some more growth. The greenhouse, you can see where we've been harvesting the lettuces. We've got three different types in here. I've, I've lost some. Uh, this is the hill two here. And uh, I don't know whether something, whether there's cutworm, something seems to be having a go at the root. But um, they've been giving us a good amount of leaves. This is the uh, Brood de Ver. I haven't lost any of those and you can see I've harvested that section there and I'll pick those probably tomorrow, harvest, take some leaves off that one. Just moving up, uh, this parsley it looks a bit sad. I'm not watering much at the moment but it looks like fresh stuff coming from the middle so I might just sort of cut some of the old stuff on, maybe that'll reinvigorate it. Again, similarly with the chive, see this pot here, it was sort of like that. But again, if you look closely now, you can see new growth coming. So I probably just need to cl clean that up, just remove some of that stuff. I still haven't got around to sorting this seed out, yeah? That's uh, French bean. And uh, a couple of little chard plants. I think those, those could go out, actually. I'm not sure. That might want to get away with it. Just spinning you around. Those clumps of white Lisbon spring onions look okay. This is the miracle of four seasons. Once again, you can see 
it's almost coming up ready for another picking. Just one there that looks. I don't know what's going on with that. I'll probably just pull that out. Uh, I think I think there is some a bit of white fly, and then uh, got some arugula, arugula rocket there. Probably grow more of that next year, to be honest with you. And then lastly, the uh, carrots. Um, again, I've not been watering much. I haven't even tried one. See a few white fly knocking about. Uh, that's not bad. I just got back from a week in York and I posted a couple of shots on some of the flooding over there. Um, there has been a bit of flooding here, not where we live, but in, in the area. I don't think any houses have been hit, but uh, I'm just grateful now we've got about four days, five days of fine weather, so I haven't sown a single seed yet. I'm not worried. I'll probably leave it till mid-February. Um, I've got plenty to do, honestly, so I'll catch you later. So a little update, guys. It's uh, 17th of January. I was intending to go chainsawing. Uh, as you can see, I'm hoping you can see, it's uh, snowing a bit. I don't think it's going to be a lot and it's quite wet. The only danger is whether it will freeze. It is forecast to frost, so the, there could be a lot of ice around tomorrow. Hi guys, another little update. January the 23rd, lead grey sky. Been drizzling all day, so not a lot going on out there. So busy in the man cave really. So I've just been breaking up another pallet. Um, I bust that one, but uh, managed to get. Not that it really matters. They're going to get sawn up anyway for burning once they've dried out a bit. So try and do it in a, a rotation, if you will. So that's, as I say, stuff I've just done now. This one here has been drying for about uh, ten days or something. So if we get a little dry spell tomorrow, saw that one up move this across then that can be drying out uh, same as that stuff there and uh, that's what I've got left of me onions from last year so they're going strong um, we've got two bays full that one's sort of 3 by 2 from pallets which I'm saving for sort of building timber and then uh, I just wanted to show you my new acquisition I can focus in got a pair of roof bars it. Well, they came a couple of days ago, but I've not had a chance to sort of fit them on this morning, and uh, yeah, happy days. Hi there guys, another little update today, 24th of January, same lead grey sky again I'm afraid. Constant drizzle all day, so not pleasant. But what I've, uh, I just want to show you, I pulled out one of the, uh, I was just doing some stuff in the workshop there, and pulled out this one, one of the uh, crown print squash. And you can see that it's just starting to go with some mould necrotic patches there and that bit there you can see it's kind of spongy to about there so I don't think all is lost I'm going to cut into it and then uh, we'll have a look see what's going on inside So we're getting somewhere now. Okay, let's just move the camera in. Yeah, so you can see pretty cleanly, clearly, this kind of little patch is here where the mold's starting to eat into the flesh. The bit at the top where the stalk was, that just completely just dropped off. There's a bit there, if you well quite a bit actually, you can see it, it looks as though that'll actually just cut out in a in a plug, if you will. And then those look more kind of surface, so back to good old firm flesh, if you will. I 
Well, that was a compost anyway. The underneath sound. It's just that bit there. And that bit there. Yeah, so you can see it's just it goes in a way, but it 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 should be uh, trimmable. Eh? But it should come out like a bit of a plug. So I'm going to trim that up, both sides, and then uh, we'll get it roasted. Uh, I've not actually had one yet. Lovely sort of um, yellow flesh on it. It smells fine, it doesn't smell off or anything like that. As I say, those bits will go in the compost. So I'm going to whack it in the, uh, I'm going to, um, as I say, scoop the seeds out, probably cut it into quarters, put it with, uh, rub some um, olive oil on and maybe some um, herbs and stuff, and then we'll whack it in the oven and I'll, I'll bring it back to you when it's cooked, okay? Okay guys, so I've just pulled them out of the oven now. They've been in there about 50 minutes. Uh, 200 degrees C or thereabouts and a uh, little bit of caramelization going on there where the, it's been touching the um, bottom of the tin but uh, I'm going to have to let that cool a bit but it smells really nice it's kind of quite nutty smell and so probably what I'll do is let it cool down and then um, this skin should kind of peel off fairly easily, I'm hoping. Yeah, look at that, it's just... So I'll peel the skin off and say that the skin will be composted, of course. And then I'll probably make a... At least half of it, I'll probably do a kind of a squash soup with uh, onion, tomato, chicken stock, that sort of thing, some herbs... And uh, yeah, I might, might do a risotto with some of it and maybe just freeze the rest anyway. Uh, let's see if that's. Uh, mm. Yeah, it's lovely and sweet. As I say, it's. Mm. Sort of quite nutty. Yeah, really impressed with that. Right, guys. Catch you later.